Is he sleeping? No, my child. Whoa. I do not sleep. I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. Two parts of a whole. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Lay Ashelia... down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the Dawn Shard? Your dream of a kingdom restored is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her I accession do not to the. This is something you might reconsider. My little Emperor in waiting. You called and I have come. <sighs> this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus, I came seeking Lars's assistance. Uh. I'll seat Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. I see it is true after all. Stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. In Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria, Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelisse in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is upon us. Grand Kiltius, I was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the resistance would stop cold, and Rosaria's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the four winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact, it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Grammys is no more. His life was taken. <sighs> Father. What possible cause could we have to lay hand on our emperor? A deception and an outrage. The Senate will not stand for this. A viper amongst our senators? The chairman Gregoroth as its head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A viper with many tails. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the serpent coiled here before me! Grace, you speak too freely. Zargabath! Do not tell me you join in his mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. <sighs> The once great House Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. Vain Solidor! As Judge Magister and Upholder of the Law, I hereby place you under arrest. <gasps> you misunderstand. Vain did not make himself autocrat. It was the very Ministry of Law which you serve. Do you see it now, Drace? When you bared your sword at His Excellency, 
You bared your sword at the law. You wear the mummers motley well, Bergen. Inhuman. <sighs> Zargabath, take the Alexander. You will accompany Bergen and bring Larsa back to me, sire. Your Excellency, Lord Larsa was placed under my charge. Oh? Perhaps you mistook your orders, then? I can see no other explanation for why you were reporting and conjecturing on my doings to my late father. Your Excellency. A hound begging for scraps at the Emperor's table. Would you serve another master, hound? You may fulfill your duty as Judge Magister before us all. She has been tried and found guilty. Your Excellency, I beg you reconsider. And so, how Solidor lives on. Let us suppose you approach the Empire with a peaceful resolution. The late Emperor Grammys would have lent you his ear, that much is certain, but we are dealing with vain Solidor. Should the princess return, he would claim her an imposter, or to tempt the resistance into battle. Vane wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war, and Vane's name writ bold on history's page. Arcadia's banners fly high. They are making ready for the coming war. According to our latest reports, the Western Armada prepares for war, under Vane's command, no less. The newly formed 12th Fleet has already been deployed. Oh yes, the Imperial First Fleet stands ready. They'll be underway as soon as the Odin's refit is complete. And there is more. The second Caravan Expeditionary Force is being called in to replace the missing Eighth, so there will be no gaps. The largest force ever seen! And then, the Nethersite is the coup de grace. Grand Kiltius, your grace. I spoke to you of my succession. Let us put that aside. Should I become Queen of Damascus now, powerless as I am, I can protect nothing. With a greater power at my disposal, perhaps then. It is the Nethysite of which you dream? I require something far greater. To wield power against power. Truly the words of a Hume child. 
I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Indeed. Then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. Does such a thing exist? Journey across the Paramana Rift to the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. The Sword of Kings can cut through Nethysite. Why he would entrust the power to destroy Nethysite, the instrument of his greatness, to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword, or your dream will remain but a dream. My dream too fades into day.
Yeah! <laughs> 
Thank you. 